Hello guys, in this video tutorial, I will explain you how to configure VTP. So here's the requirements. In this topology, we have three switches. Let's start and follow this instruction. Okay, let's run show VLAN on switch one. Here's Cisco. Then it's class. Let's run show VLAN brief and to check what we have. No VLANs configured and only we have uh, by default VLAN one and all ports are by default in VLAN one. Okay, so first step S1 will be the server for VTP. We must go in global configuration mode, type in config T and type here VTP mode server. Okay. So device mode already VTP server. Then step two, configure VTP domain name. Let's do it. It's a VTP domain ccna okay and uh, we sign the name now step three asking us to put vtp password vtp password cisco all right we did it and let's check vtp status do show vtp status what we have here yes this is operating mode this uh, server uh, domain name is ccna and uh, completion we have now seven percent seven percent and uh, configuration revision zero and vtp version is one okay uh and let's change the version vtp version two okay we changed the version this is the command vtp version two now show vtp password do show vtp password okay and the uh, password is cisco step five check results oh, everything seems all right task three configure s2 and s3 as a vtp client this is s2 Okay, here should be Cisco, then enable and plus. Configure terminal and VTP mode clients. Now we change the mode. Let's go on the switch three and Cisco enable plus here. Configure terminal VTP mode client. Okay, we changed and completion now is 15. Um, step two under task three configure the VTP domain name. Okay, let's see. VTP domain CCNA and Let's assign the password, VTP, password, Cisco. All right, we completed uh, assigning password and domain on switch three. Let's configure switch two now. VTP, domain, CCNA. VTP password Cisco. And now completion, we have 30. All right. 
confirm configuration changes. Show VTP status. Let's see. And the switch tree. This is switch tree. This is switch tree. Do show VTP status. And let's see what we have. We have VTP version is a one. Let's change the version. VTP version two. And same thing on switch two. Okay. Uh, we have to change clients mode to transparent mode. Let's do it. VTP mode transparent. And, and now we can we can do it. VTP version two. And now let's go back to client mode. Okay. We did it. We did it on switch two. Now same steps on switch three. VTP mode transparent, uh, VTP version two, and let's go back to client mode. This is client. Okay, so we did, we did it. Let's check, do show vtp status and yes we have version two now now configure vt vlans on switch one here's VL, uh, the switch one and this is vtp server okay what they asking us create the vlans okay okay let's create vlan 10 name Faculty slash staff VLAN twenty name students VLAN thirty name must be guests. Okay, now it's correct, it's 42, 42, and here, 99, we learn 99, and name is this one. Okay, show we learn brief, do show we learn brief. Let's see what we did. Yes, we created faculty, the VLAN 10, VLAN 20, 30, and 99. Uh, and it's correct. It's correct. Uh, if you enter the same commands on S2 and S3, you will notice that the VLANs are not in the VLAN database. Okay, let's, let's see. Boom. Show VLAN brief. No VLANs here. No VLANs because trunk ports not configured. Okay, let's do it. So let's start from here. Here we have fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 interface, fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. And should, uh, here should be switch port mode trunk. Okay, now we have 50 and configure trunk on port 3 also. 53. We did here. Uh, let's configure trunk on switch to interface 
you have your interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 1, switch port, mode, trunk. And let's change the native VLAN, switch port, trunk, give VLAN 99. Okay. We did everything on switch two. Well, let's do it on switch three. Interface fast is a net zero slash three slash three. Switch port mode trunk and switch port trunk native VLAN. 99. Spelling oh. mistake. Native VLAN. Okay, now we have 69. Uh, let's change the native VLAN here. This is fast Ethernet 0 slash 3, switch port, trunk, native VLAN 99. Okay, and on fast Ethernet port 1, same thing, the same command. And now we have 76. Okay, 76. Let's see if everything correct. Let's check. To show VLAN brief. Yes, this switch received uh, VLAN, VLAN numbers and uh, names from switch one, from server, from this server. Okay, and let's check here. To show VLAN brief. And also we got all four VLANs, which we created on switch one. What we have missing? Let's see. Check result. And on the, on the switch two and switch three, we have access VLAN. Correct. Okay. Those are ports. Those are where we have computers connected. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. We have to configure port 11 and include this PC in VLAN 10. INT past Ethernet 0 slash 11 and switch port access VLAN 10. Okay. We yeah, now we have completion 80. Now port 18. This should be in VLAN 20. Okay. Now we have 84. And last port is port 6. And that should be in VLAN 30. Completion 88. Okay, let's do on switch. This is switch three. Interface. Okay. INT past Ethernet 0 slash 11. Switch port access to VLAN. 
Now we have 92. Then we have port 18, which is, which must be in VLAN 20. Now we have 96 and we have port six. And that should be in VLAN 30. Okay, and we did it. Completion is 100, we reached 100%. So everything is correct, everything correct. Let's check here. Yes, we have all greens, status, on the status column, we have everything correct. So we completed this task. If we ping from PC1, let's ping from PC1 to, yes, it's pingable. We have connectivity, we have connectivity. So we completed this task. I hope this video tutorial is uh, useful. And uh, now you understand how to configure this lab. Okay, thank you for watching this video. See you next time.